Welcome to The Exchange. I'm Guy Schoen, bringing you the biggest news and interviews from all around the business world. Coming up on the show, robots are revolutionising the world of work, spreading to every major industry. We hear from the companies benefiting by embracing the disruption. And as more money is poured into automation, will the rise of robots create new job opportunities or put millions out of work for good? Machine automation has been rising rapidly since the 1960s, and artificial intelligence has increased the ways that robotics can enhance our lives. Well, in recent years, even the most typically human interactions are being mechanised. Take going to a restaurant, for example. Robots are now being used as waiters and cleaning staff. But there's one restaurant in Paris that's using a different recipe for automation. Here's Cyril Fenares. Hello, Guy. Since the COVID crisis, the hotel and restaurant industry has been experiencing an unprecedented global employment crisis. In France, it has lost nearly 10% of its workers. So could robots be a solution to this shortage? Let's see what this scenario looks like here in Paris. Imagine if a robot replaces the chef in this Paris restaurant. This future is very much in the present. A robot named Patsy prepares and serves up to 80 pizzas per hour without any human intervention. The process is simple and transparent. The customer orders at an automatic kiosk before the robot's articulated arms flatten the dough, spread the sauce, add the ingredients, all of them organic, and place the pizza in the oven. The pickup is done with a QR code. The biggest technical difficulty was mastering organic products. Dough is a living substance, there are yeasts. The product has characteristics that aren't constant. Sources can have varying thicknesses. So it was extremely complex to develop a technology capable of managing any type of ingredient while respecting the products. Robots can perform cooking tasks much more easily, more quickly and to a higher standard than a team of kitchen workers. That's the advantage of robotics, which already help in a number of sectors. There's no reason why they shouldn't be used in the fast food sector too. And there you have it, although this technology does come at a cost, around 300,000 euros. The founders say using robots will allow chefs to spend more on quality ingredients. The service industry is just one sector seeing a high rate of automation. In fact, the World Economic Forum projects that human workers are being replaced by robots faster than we think. Let's have a look. At the current pace, up to 85 million jobs could be displaced by 2025. But the organization also believes that automation will create more jobs than it removes, predicting that a staggering 97 million new roles will be needed over the same time frame. And as companies race to stay ahead, global spending on robotics is set to hit $242 billion as soon as next year. Now, with all that said, Guy, I hope we don't lose our jobs to robot presenters anytime soon. So do I, Lila. But fear not. There are firms focused on figuring out how robots and humans can work together rather than simply taking our jobs. One company at the forefront of automation is ABB. Mark Segura is the president of the robotics division at ABB. He joins the show from Vienna. Mark, robots are working everywhere, aren't they, at the moment? What's causing this? If I need to talk about two vectors, e-commerce has been one. The other one have been uh, cobots, cobotics, the cobots, and their drive into making robotics accessible, but for a wider number of companies, notably a small and medium-sized enterprise. Because what we need to lower are two things. One is the total cost of ownership and the total cost of integration, and that calls for simpler, leaner robots that don't need a lot of ancillary equipment to perform uh, certain tasks. So lean robots with ease of use robots, affordable and easy to deploy, this is really happening. This will help many other companies adopt robotics and benefit from, from, from the profits they bring. Thank you, Mark. So whether you're in a shop, factory or working in an office, having affordable cobots as co-workers could become the norm. Well, for millions of us who may feel nervous about losing our jobs to robots one day, it's not all doom and gloom. There are experts who believe that most of us humans will still be relevant for some time to come. 
Well, joining us now from Munich is Nahia Orduna. She's a tech lead in cloud computing and author of the book Your Digital Reinvention. Nahia, you believe that robots won't steal human jobs, don't you? Why? Yeah, exactly. I'm convinced that robots won't steal our jobs. 85 million jobs will be displaced by a shift of labor between the machines and the humans. But 97 million jobs are going to appear, and these are the new jobs, like the jobs of tomorrow. So let me show with you, which is my favorite restaurant here. I, I live in Germany, in the middle of Munich. It's an Italian restaurant. Every time I go, I'm greeted by the waiters. I, I don't care, maybe the pizza is done by a robot in the kitchen, but the, but the, the interaction of the, of the Italian waiter making me feel that I'm on holidays in Italy, that will not be disappear. So again, they are like, all this human interaction is not at risk to be automated because it's all out of our human experience. Thanks, Nahia. So trusting robots and algorithms to complete tasks that don't require real people means human skills can be better used in other ways. Now it's time for our regular feature, Business in 60 Seconds. Start the clock. Spain releases its GDP reading for the first quarter. Economic activity slowed in the first half of 2022 due to rising inflation and supply chain bottlenecks. But GDP growth is projected to remain high at 5.5% for the year. And tourism income isn't expected to reach pre-pandemic levels until at least 2023. France is out with its gauge of business confidence for the month of May. The re-election of President Emmanuel Macron in April bodes well for the country's business climate. Macron will seek to continue pushing for pro-business friendly domestic reforms. And FedEx reports its earnings for the fourth quarter. In April, the logistics giant began increasing its fuel surcharges on customers for both its ground and air operations to keep up with rising oil prices. It's also the company's first earnings report under the leadership of a new CEO and president. Five seconds to go, a robot beating score. So, the fear of robots taking our jobs remains real and understandable, but the advance of smarter and cheaper cobots might boost the global jobs market rather than damage it. So whether it's serving pizza, managing projects or packing our bags, the age of the robot co-worker could be coming to an industry near you very soon. Well, that's all we have time for on this edition of the show. Thanks for watching. Please do check out Euronews.com for all your latest business news and join us again next time on The Exchange.